Hello and welcome to the fourth remote stage of the 2021 Indoor Archery World Series and our corresponding live event, the Rushmore Rumble. Now, normally we're in Sin City this weekend at the Vegas Shoot. Uh, that event has been delayed until April and this tournament in Yankton is taking its spot this year. It's a little bit different to normal. Uh, and in fact, it's a very uh, different Valentine's date. I have uh, here to explain everything is world art Chris Wells. Yeah, it's, it's quite like Vegas, this one. Uh, instead of the three days, just the two. But every archer on site shot 90 arrows, uh, 60 yesterday, 30 today. And then the guys that are in the lead, the, the top scorers, the ones that have shot perfect over the two days, a perfect 900 will advance to the championship open shoot down that's the main event here at the rushmore rumble much like it is in vegas well here we go it's time for the youth age group shoot down Yeah, Weber drops a nine with his first arrow. Looks like we've got tens from the other two, though. Is that another nine as well? Much more difficult to hit over the 18-meter range and for the small rex ring, with the hit, which they haven't been shooting this weekend. Tough final arrow from Jacob Weber here. Two nines, and that does indeed look like a ten. And it's three tenths for Brody Turner by the looks of things as well. So it looks like we are going to lose Jacob Weber. Didn't look too happy with that one. Top seed Turner with those impressive 86 X's. Over the first 90 arrows here. Nothing you can do about that second arrow. Puts the third into the tens. And Brody Turner here could uh, potentially win this with another 10. Uh, crowd thinks it's Brody Turner's. It's another brilliant performance from Brody Turner. 86 X's in his 900 to get to this stage and he hasn't dropped a point in the shoot down brody turner is the champion of the youth age group division i feel pretty good about how i shot this weekend i was very happy i shot a couple personal bests for competition which was very very good for me with how hard of conditions it was and the pressure that was on me uh, but it looks like we are already ready to move on to the senior division Braden with his first arrow. But they've already had those three hours of practice to make sure their sight marks are right, to make sure they're, they're comfortable in the arena. So this first end is just uh, business as usual, same as they've been doing for the rest of the weekend. Uh, keep them in that big 10 and, and wait, for the, wait for the tough stuff in end number two. The contrast in their actions is uh, quite dramatic. All uh, very efficient, smooth and calm from Randy Morocco. Moves his head a lot to get process. that backhand behind uh, the back of his ear and, and make sure his, his nose is on the string in the right place. Um, end of the day, compound archery is all about execution. Randy Morocco from Ohio. That that move from the big to the small ten, they both delivered exceptional shots low in the low in the central ring. 
out of ten ring it might have clipped it if it's at the right angle on the middle one. Oh. Now, Michael Braden doesn't look happy with that one. Third arrows in this second end are critical for both archers. Good attention from Michael Braden. Uh, the title goes to Ohio's Randy Morocco. Well, that's third place sorted out. Uh, this is what it's all about, though. This for first place, it's uh, Tanya Jensen of Denmark against Toya Ellison in the red and black shirt. It's time for end number one. So we start with the big 10 ring. And uh, so far, we've seen all the archers uh, getting perfect scores. That's a great start from uh, Toya Ellison, though. Yeah, well, over, to, to make it to these, to these shoot downs, these, these medal matches effectively, you really can't. At this first end of the shoot down, you, you know what it takes to get here. You, you've proven that you can do it. Um, the, the furthest we've seen a shoot down go so far at this event is the third end. Let's see if these girls can extend it a little bit further. Happy news in the Ellison house in recent times as well. Uh, new parents are Toya and Brady. See on her face, she knew that one was good. Well, the women shoot down here. She knows that she's got that. It doesn't matter what Tanya Jensen does here. It was a nine in her second arrow. She finishes off uh, with another 10, tickling the spider, a 29 for Tanya Jensen, but it's not enough. Toya Ellison, well, subject to the judges confirming, but the big fist pump, I think, gave it away. Toya Ellison has taken the women's shoot down here at the Rushmore Rumble. I was emotional because exactly three months ago, um, I gave birth to this little guy um, and I didn't know how my archer is going to look after if I'm ever going to be able to compete again, if I'm going to have time to practice and the fact that I was able to practice some <laughs> and come out and sh I shot good was emotional. Well, there we have it, a 20-man lineup for the showcase final here, the men's shootdown. Let's get on with end number one. We we'll start off with the Big Ten, and as Chris Wells has said, we're expecting all archers to progress through this first end. Let's get underway as we watch all the archers shoot their three arrows. Go down the line, just taking a look to see if anyone's shaken on the first shot, but it doesn't look like it. Don't expect to see anyone go out in this first end on, on the big scoring. Of course, none of these archers have dropped a point on the Big Ten so far this weekend although there is price over on the right of target six looking a little bit dodgy on his bottom arrow should have survived though with those fat shafts these guys are shooting top end of the line chris perkins 2011 world champion and stefan hansen one inside in the blue the 2015 world champion yeah Two seeds for this uh, shoot down. Perkins from Canada, Hansen from Denmark. Well, oh, we can see there yeah. Curtis Broadnack. He's dropped his bottom left target high and left.
Slightly longer hold from Stefan Hansen. So we definitely have to wait to hear what the target judge says. 19 here. Just Broadwater and Householder. Broadwater shooting now. Doesn't look happy with that either. That arrow will be measured now. Hansen. Dropped to point with his first arrow. It is a 29, so Slusars has gone. He will finish in fourth place. And it's a 30 for Jesse Broadwater, so that means Stefan Hansen finishes in third. And we are down to two. It's Robert Householder of Alabama who's made it through the eighth end. And he will go up against Jesse Broadwater. Broadwater making a little adjustment to his sight there after that first arrow. That one looks like it's clear in the nine. See Broadwater from Florida. Can Robert Householder put this in the 10 and provisionally take the first Rushmore Rumble title? It is in the 10 by the looks of things. So now it's all about that second arrow for Jesse Broadwater. The emotions at bay. Well, there we have it. Jesse Broadwater from Florida just dropped. One point in that 10th then to get a 29. And it means that the archer from Alabama, Robert Householder, is the inaugural winner of the Rushmore Rumble. Oh man, winning's always fun. It's always good, but that one, that one took a little while. It took every shot, every shot mattered on that. I just tried to put the next one in the middle and I did. And then uh, he shot his third one and I knew I had a chance to at least tie it and go to another end, and I just tried to get it close and tried to get it in the middle.